वेलकम अगेन सो टेल मी वन थिंग हैव यू एवर नोटिस्ड सम थिंग्स और सम ऑब्जेक्ट्स गेट डिसअपेयर व्हेन वी थ्रो देम इन वाटर एंड सम ऑब्जेक्ट्स कीप स्विमिंग ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ द वाटर डू यू नो व्हाई दिस इज बिकॉज़ सम ऑब्जेक्ट्स सिंक एंड सम फ्लोट यस न्यू वर्ड सिंक What do you mean by singing objects? I will tell you. Singing objects are the objects which settle or drop to a lower level in the water. Means singing objects. Float. What do you mean by floating objects? Floating objects are the objects which remain on the surface of water. Now we will see which objects sink in water and which object float on water. Sink. You have already done heavy or light concept. So things which are heavy sink in water, and things which are light float on water. Heavy things are things which have more weight. Light are the things which have less weight. So we will do this with an activity. Now come on to this side. What is this? This is a container. What is there inside this? Water. we will do this activity with the help of water because we have to see which object sink and which object float let's start with this vegetable can you see which vegetable is this this is a potato which vegetable is this yes this is green chili now let's see which vegetable sinks and which vegetable floats See potato sinks in water. Green chili floats on water. Potato has more weight, so it sinks in water. Chili has light weight, so it float on water. Next objects. What what is this? Yes, this is a leaf. What are these? Stones. Let's see. stone sinks in water leaf floats on water we will stir and again see whether leaf sinks or not leaf does not sink in water because it is light in weight come on to next things what is what are these these are spoons This is a steel spoon. This is a plastic spoon. Which one do you think is heavy? Is this heavy? No. This is heavy. So which one do you think will sink in water? Now, see. The steel spoon sinks in water. while the plastic spoon floats on water this is because the plastic spoon is light in weight while the steel spoon is heavy in weight next is lock and this plastic box lock is heavy and this plastic box is light which one will sink I think this plastic box is going to sink in water. No, let's see. Oh, it's floating. It's floating on water. Now see this iron lock. Oh, it sinks in water. Why? Because the iron lock is more heavy. While the plastic box is light in weight. So it floats on water next objects are the coin of rupee 2 and feathers now let's see the coin sinks in water the feather floats on water we'll stir the water and see whether the feathers sink in water or not no they are not sinking 
the reason they are lighter in weight coin being heavier sinks in water while feathers being light float on water last example can you see this yes this is pencil you all have it at your home now this is eraser let's see which one will sink and which one will float come the eraser sinks in water what do you think about this pencil it will float or sink let's see now see it floats on water pencil being light floats on water and eraser being heavy sinks in water so now you are familiar with the concept sink and float now we will go through a quick recap with the help of these pictures first of all things which are light in weight float on water and things which are heavy in weight sink in water we will say like this leaf floats on water stone sinks in water feather floats on water coin sink in water pencil floats on water eraser sink in water you have learned three keywords today keywords were float sink water repeat after me float sink water now let's spell these words f l o a t float s i n k sink w a t e r water float sink water now you can repeat this activity at your home and don't forget to repeat this topic and go through this concept of sink and float also learn these keywords right have a nice day bye bye